Today, I'm gonna to run you through how to recover deleted data inside of Zoho CRM. This is a question that we do get occasionally, sometimes from clients and sometimes on YouTube. And generally, it's an urgent question. If something's been deleted on accident, you wanna recover it as quickly as possible. So I'm making this video so that if you are someone who just maybe searched this on Google, you can get this answer and get it solved before anybody has a meltdown <laughs> over any data being deleted in CRM. So here I am inside of an account in in Zoho CRM, I'm gonna go ahead and delete it. One important thing to note with some of these native or standard modules in CRM is if somebody's gone in and deleted an account, it's also gonna delete every task, every contact, every deal, all the transactional records that are related to this account. So just by doing that deletion, I'm not deleting one record, I'm deleting three in this case, an account, a deal, and a contact. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Whoops, I deleted it. Now what we'll see is that it's not a contact or an account or a deal anymore. It is now completely gone. So what do we do? We're gonna jump into our settings here. We're gonna search for recycle bin. You can either search or you can just see it down here under the data administration tab. We're gonna go into this and what we'll see is that all of the records that have been deleted are gonna show up here. Now, a couple things to note. They're gonna be in here for 60 days. So if you learn that something was deleted or if you're suspicious that something was deleted, check it right away, right? There's no reason to wait on this because eventually it will get phased out. You are gonna need to be an admin or an administrator profile to access this page. So if you're someone who maybe you're a sales rep and you deleted something, you might need to ping your manager to get it to come back. And then non-admin users can occasionally come in here and do this. So you can always give it a try, but when in doubt, go ahead and check this page. now. Couple things we can do here. We can filter. Filter will allow us to search for the name of a record, the type of the record. So if you know like an account was deleted, you can filter that down. You can also see if it was deleted by a person specifically or on a particular date and time. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab these. I'm just gonna check the box on all three of them. And then I can go ahead and restore those records. So what that's now done is if I go back to my modules and I go to my accounts, we'll see my deleted account, really, uh, I could rename it now, my undeleted account, as well as the related deal and contact are now all back in the system, just how they were before. All the data is still there, nothing has really changed other than this modified time, which just tracks any time that a record has had an interaction. So that's really it. I'm gonna do a bit of a bonus tip here on the audit log if you wanted to see where this type of activity shows up, but. That's all you really need to do to recover that record. Just jump into settings, go to the recycle bin. If there's a lot of stuff in here, maybe it was deleted like a week ago and we're just now realizing it, you could use those filters to check those out. Quick little spiel, if you're finding the video useful, be sure to like and subscribe down below. Leave us a comment with any other types of quick fixes or help that you might need in your Zoho account. And head on over to zanata.com and click on book a meeting if you'd like some help managing your Zoho One account. Let's get right back to it. Now, what we can also do in here, let's say that something was deleted and we're unsure of exactly what caused it, right? And we wanna get a little bit more granular to determine what went wrong so that maybe we could prevent this from happening in the future. One thing I can do is if I search for audit log and I go to this page, now I can see everything that happened. So you can actually see, hey, I made these records a couple minutes ago and then I immediately deleted them. And then I can see that they have been restored. So inside of this audit log, if I knew that like a particular type of record was deleted in the past, I could filter that down and then I could scroll and figure out exactly when that happened. One thing about this audit log is that it does go back pretty far time distance into the past. So you can see even things that happened a long time ago. Again, do keep in mind that recycle bin is only gonna last for 60 days. But if there was an older record and you wanted to know what happened, you can always see that. We can also see the user that interacted with it, whether it was added, updated, or deleted. So if you're specifically trying to find an account that was deleted, you'd probably combine these filters here. And then of course, I can pull any types of filtering on the date. So if I wanted to have, you know, I know this was deleted last month or at the beginning of the year, right? I can always come in and apply those types of date filters to make that make sense. Now, again, that's kind of the core of it here. You're gonna use both that audit log and the recycle bin. 
The quick answer, jump in a recycle bin and get it restored. But if you do need to dig any deeper into what exactly happened, you can use that audit log to get the full story about when and how that record was deleted. One of the reasons I mention audit log is that like you might have, let's say, a custom function. And in some cases, it's supposed to delete a record. Again, pretty rare that that would happen. You would actually be able to see that like the user who configured that function, likely your super admin or some type of system account, was the one that did the deleting versus a particular user who we know wasn't a function may have deleted that record. So you can just get a little bit more of that data from the audit log, but go ahead and start by just jumping into the recycle bin and getting it restored. With that, this is just a quick hitter, one of those types of videos where if you're looking for that quick fix so that you can get something solved before it becomes a big problem, I really do hope that this video was useful. If it was, be sure to like and subscribe down below. Totally free way to help us out. Make sure the future videos like this show up in your feed. While you're down there, leave a comment. Has anything else ever gone wrong in CRM and you've needed to fix it quickly? I'm always happy to make more videos like this that kind of cover some of those types of topics. With that, ready to wrap up here for today. So as always, my name is Tyler Colt and I will see you next time.